Hello everybody and welcome to Pro Bellum Unstoppable in association with Phil Jeffries. The fight night will be taking place this Saturday night at the Rainton Arena, broadcasted all over the world. In the UK, Free Sports TV, Premier Sports and Box Nation. On the card, we've got the Sandman to my right, Lewis Ritson. He'll be taking on tough Mexican Christian Gullas Cater. I hope I pronounced that correctly. We've also got on the card the returning Ricky Burns. I think he's had two years out of the ring and he'll be coming back against a tough Argentinian, Emiliano Rodriguez. We've also got Thomas Patrick Ward who will take on Leonardo Padilla with a host of other prospects including Mark Dickinson and Mark McKeon. Have I missed anybody else? Have missed anybody? Good stuff. Okay, I just want to pass you over to Phil Jeffries because without him this show wouldn't be taking place on Saturday night and I think with North East Boxing booming at the moment, I think it's important that Phil takes a, a very big role into this and I just want to know what it's like to working with Pro Bellum and taking boxing forward in the North East. Stress. Stress. <laughs> no, it's great, it's great that Pro Bellum's coming to the North East, especially with Lewis and Tommy and it's, uh, these fine boxers on the top table and the Dickinsons and uh, Ricky. And I think this show's going to be a sellout. It's going to be uh, it's going to be rocking, you know, because those lads in the North East, they're all the rock. Man, they sure has rocked them a little, so... Yeah, and, uh, just great is all turned up, you know, and it's nice to see Paul Smith there spying at us, trying to make us go red, but other than that, uh, everything's fine, so it's not about me anyway, it's about the boxes, but uh, I'm chuffed to be working with Pabella, you know, they're, they're a great, great outfit, I've worked with a, a, many of them, not mentioned any names, but they seem to be uh, really going to push the North East, and uh, they're really now to treat the boxes, that's something which is very important, the Pabella know how to treat boxes right, so I'm going to pass you back to Sam. Not for my voice. So I'm going to start with Mark McKeon. Mark, how are you, Mark? Yep. Mark, really good platform for you to, to continue your, your progression. Are you looking forward to get, get started on Saturday night? I can't wait to get in there on Saturday night and um, showcase what I've got. Um, big thanks to Prebellum for giving me the opportunity to go on a card as big as this. Um, and I won't disappoint. Fantastic, fantastic. Has anyone seen Joe Laws anywhere? Yeah, you hear him, he was walking around with his knackers hanging out in a gold dressing gown yesterday, so you can't really miss him with a sombrero. So we'll go to Mark. Mark, this is like a kind of second debut for you really, wasn't it? So I think it's, it's an important night for you. you your, your first fight wasn't really broadcasted in the first, that was a bit of a disappointment for yourself. Do you consider this a second debut for you? I want to start off by saying a big thank you to Paul Bellum for uh, giving me the opportunity to be out so quick again after my uh, debut. Obviously my debut wasn't broadcasted on telly, so this time it's going to be good to be broadcasted properly and um, fight in front of our home fans. Nice. I think it's all about just keeping you busy now, isn't it, Mark? Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, moving on. We're moving on to Ricky Burns. How you doing, Ricky? I'm all good. All great, good. great to see you back. Ricky, I want to know what skincare you use because you still don't look... It's 10 years and you still look exactly the same. What's the secret? Keep myself on the gym. Uh, uh, no, good. So you're going to be taking on Emiliano Rodriguez. It's, it's not an easy fight. I think he gave Sean McCone a, a very good fight. You've not come back. You could have took any, you've had two years out of the ring. You could have took an easy, an easy opponent. You've not, you've not done that at all. You're coming back in here with a, with a very, very solid opponent. What was the thinking behind that? Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. Um, Obviously, I've never ever, but when opponents have been mentioned, I've never ever like, said no or anything, so whatever names they give me, that, that's who I'm getting with. Um, obviously, first fight back in two years now, um, but so in that two years, there's been fights spoke about, and um, I've, been, I've been training all the way through, um, so I'm obviously teamed up with a new, new trainer now, with Barry, Kev and Gary, Kier Hardy. Um, training alongside Mark McCool as well. Yeah. Um, so just look forward to getting in here and uh, putting on a good show. So the the, the desire is still there. I uh, hundred yeah. percent. I, I, I wouldn't be. You still look as happy as you did like ten years ago when you used the box as well. Like you, you still look like you're banged up for it. You like to see you gleaming in there in the lobby earlier. You're talking about how excited you are to get back in the ring. Like, it's good to have you back. Joe, I always like to say it, that even after fights and that, I'm always straight back in the gym. And, um, boxing's one of these sports, if you didn't enjoy it, it's, it's too hard. Um, 
in the mornings I still drag my bed out, drag myself out of bed at half six to do the track or whatever. As soon as I stop enjoying that, that's when I know it's my time to call it a day. Okay. Moving on to um, Emiliano Rodriguez. We've got a, uh, he's a uh, transit. Emiliano, welcome. I was speaking to you early, uh, earlier on and you said, look, this is a, a fight that you believe you can win. You can capital, capitalize on the fact Ricky has been out for two years and this is a fight you clearly think you can win. What do you think about this fight and what do you think about the rival? Well, hello. We hope that it will be a good fight. Seguramente es un muy buen rival de muchas peleas, así que venimos muy bien preparados. Eh, seguramente va a ser una pelea 10 rounds muy bueno, muy intenso o quizás menos. Need the response. Eh, Ricky, good, good rival. 10 eh, rounds uh, for eh, and we Argentina victory. Okay. Are you sure that's what he said? Okay. No problem. No problem. Good to good to have you here. Okay. Okay. Joe, you're late. Check check. No, Sam, on the poor side, it's ten one o'clock. Dinner's still still have you back. There's there's everybody here, and you're you're arriving late. I go for storm for one o'clock. You were putting that dressing gown on, weren't you? <laughs> I was just lying in bed, chilling. As long as you've got boxer shorts on, everything's fine. <laughs> uh, yes, Joe. So we'll bring we'll bring you in. Since the, the since the setback with Ryland Charm, we were talking about this yesterday. You yeah. seem to, you seem to be taking it a lot more seriously. I think we're, we're fair we're fair to say that. No, yeah. Um, after the loss, I've uh, I've been stood back to the drawing board, stood back in the gym, and. Uh, had to ask myself a lot of questions, do I actually want to box? But I do know what I mean, so uh, I'm enjoying the ride, I'm training hard, and I just hope I can perform like I have been in the gym. So what, what, what is everyone going to expect? Are we going to see anything different from you this weekend, or is it just going to be the same Joe Laws, straightforward, take one to land one, and excite the, the Ben Wall Bomber family? The eye contact between me and you, yeah, it's scary as Sam, isn't it? Me, me and you got the eye contact going on, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, it's like you've Di Direct eye contact. I can't take my eyes off that fluorescent dressing gown you've got on. What else? Where's the sombrero? <laughs> I can't believe you're late for this press conference and you've not worn a sombrero. No, to be fair, on the poor side, it said one o'clock start, didn't it? I don't know, you'd have to ask Aaron, where is he? <laughs> Me okay. that glitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, m moving on to Thomas Patrick Ward, who will take on Leonardo Padilla. Um, Thomas, you're banged up for this fight. You're knocking on the door now for a world title fight. This fight's incredibly important to you. Yeah, of course. Um, he's a good fighter. Um, I'm looking forward to Saturday night. It's going to be a very good fight. And um, yeah, I'm knocking on the door of the world title. I think I have been for a long time. Um, I think I was one of the best super bantamweights there was. Unfortunately, my shot never come. Um, so I'm pushing on now at featherweight. There's good guys there at featherweight. I'd love to have a fight. Obviously, he's ranked high in the WBA. I'm ranked in the high in the WBA myself. So this fight will push us towards uh, a bit closer towards that. I know Leo Santa Cruz hasn't boxed for a while. You know, I, th I think he's the lowest of WBA super. That would be a good fight. I know Conlon and uh, Wood is is due to box uh, sometime next year. The regular version. The regular, uh, or even they'll probably push on maybe, something like that. So, listen, there's plenty of good fights out there. Manuel Navarretti, I was chasing him down a super band away. Nobody wanted to fight him. I've asked Featherweight now, not many people want to fight him again. You know, there's that one there as well. So, no, listen, there's a, but there's a good fight on Saturday night. We've got to get through um, the line up first and then uh, see where we go. Yeah, because literally, a lot of fighters do say they will fight him, but you, genuinely mean it don't you? you will fight you were saying to me a minute ago you will literally fight anybody that's put in front of you literally anybody yeah um, there's there's like ricky said when the names come across the table and it's okay like it's not as if i say oh i'm not fighting him or i want to fight him i want the world titles so whoever's got them that's what i want to fight it's like it's no big deal just send the contracts over i'll travel to you i'm not bothered what clothes you want to wear where you want to fight it doesn't make a difference so we're expecting a big performance from you on Saturday. Yeah, expect a good performance, but I mean, listen, the fans is one here. I mean, pro value. Thanks very much for putting on this show. I mean, look at the talent you've got sitting there on this table. We've got world class fighters, and 
it's a massive, massive shot, and the fans is the only winners here. Absolutely. Moving on to Leonardo Padilla. How you doing, Leonardo? You okay? Where's the the, uh, the uh, Leonardo? We were speaking again a minute ago. You're really up for this fight. You believe it's a fight you can win, and Thomas is uh, highly ranked. You can take his take his spot. It's all, it's all to play for you on Saturday night. Leonardo is Thomas hablando hace rato. Es una es una pelea en la cual tú crees que puedes ganar. Este es un rival que te puedes dar mucho y que puedes tomar un lugar muy muy bueno si tú le ganas. ¿Qué es lo que, que esperas de esta pelea? Bueno, ante todo quiero darle gracias a todos. Primero a Dios, ante todas las cosas. Y sí, creo que es la pelea más importante de mi carrera porque es la victoria que me pondrá a puertas del título mundial. No sé lo que digo. First of all, I want to thank God. And this is a fight that, yes, it, it can make something for me. It can put me in the big screens and, and, and be really good. Eh, sé que vengo haciendo buen trabajo, vengo de buena victoria. Tengo mejores rivales que él. Y creo que los números no fallan y aquí hay un solo ganador y es Leonardo Padilla. Ganar, 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 ganar. And the new. I think I got that last bit. Yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty clear. Well, he says that he's got a, a good number, in the, a good people in his fights. I mean, he's here to win. He, he is saying that he fought better, better rivals than, than work. So he's going to be the new. Do you believe you win this fight by knockout? ¿Crees que vas a ganar por knockout? Eh, yo creo que eso me lo reservo. Hemos venido haciendo buen trabajo, tenemos un plan y la victoria, el trabajo para la victoria es secreto. It's a secret. I mean, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do my fight, but I'm gonna reserve my comments for this one. Okay, we'll keep the secret till Saturday. Thank you very much. Moving on to the main event of the evening, Luis. We'll start with you. Disappointment for you last time out. We was we was again we was talking about this yesterday. This is a really a must win fight for your career because we was you, you still have aspirations of fighting at St James's Park, challenging for world titles. This is there's no slip ups now for you here. No, no, uh, massive setback last fight. Uh, not really the best of performances, but you are going to make that right Saturday night, get a good win, and get people talking about it again, and hopefully the dream can still stay alive. The fans are still notoriously very loyal up here, so they're going to still come out and support you, albeit it's a smaller arena on Saturday, but that will generate, in my opinion, a much, a much, a, a fantastic atmosphere. It's going to be jumping in there on Saturday night. No, oh, yeah, the Dorothy starts to go and fought the Reed Meadows quite a few times, doing Jaffa puts on the good shows there. Get plenty in there, plenty of noise, plenty of atmosphere, and it's going to be, going to be a good night. Will that noise draw you into a, into a tear up, Lewis? No, we'll just wait and see what, uh, what he comes to bring, you know. We know we can box a bit, we can fight a bit, and it just all depends what happens on the night. But we've got a plan, and we're going to try and stick to that. As I say, Mexicans come here with a, with a tough reputation. There's been there's been a lot of upsets recently, so there's there's no room for any any slip ups this weekend. No, uh, there definitely can't be. You know, we've heard one of them's plans for. We've heard you know some names that have been mentioned for. So we'll make sure I've got to get through Saturday night on a good performance, and uh, we'll take them fights no and get people talking about it again. Good stuff. Moving on to Christian Urusketa. I think I pronounced that okay. Pronunciation okay? Yeah? Christian, welcome. Saturday night's a big night for you. Is this a fight that you, uh, you believe you can win? Christian, bienvenido. Esta, esta pelea del sábado es una muy buena pelea. ¿Crees que puedes ganar? Buenos, buenas tardes. Estoy, estoy muy contento, muy agradecido con Dios principalmente. Estoy agradecido con mi empresa Miura Boxing Promotion, con Provelum Boxing, porque me permiten regresar de nuevo a, a Europa, a, hacer una, a dar otro, otro espectáculo como lo di la vez pasada. Y, y vengo seguro de que, de que voy a ganar. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank you, Rebellum. I want to thank Mira Boxing. And yes, I, I'm really happy to come back uh, to come back to Europe. And this is a fight I'm gonna win. No, hesi no hesitation. Very, very, very confident. Is it a fight that you believe you'll win on points inside the distance? What kind of fight do you expect Lewis to bring, and any problems he possesses for you on Saturday? 
¿Cuál crees que sea el resultado? ¿Vas a ganar por knockout? ¿Vas a ganar por puntos? Este, ¿Crees que se va a ir larga la pelea? ¿Qué, qué es lo que crees que, que puede pasar? Pues yo soy un, un guerrero mexicano, yo me preparé para los 10 rounds, pero si llega el, el triunfo antes, por knockout, yo estaré, estaré preparado, pero yo di mi mejor esfuerzo en los entrenamientos y, y estoy seguro que voy a, a llevarme el triunfo, no sé si por knockout o, o por decisión, pero de que gano, gano. I'm a Mexican warrior. I came here to win. I don't know if it's going to be by points. I don't know if it's going to be by, by uh, knockout. But believe me, it's going to be, I'm going to do my best and it's going to be a great fight. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we'll move on to the floor. Is there, um, I think we've got a couple of questions from the floor for the fighters. Um, who's that? Andrew? Yes, I've got, oh, give me the mic, yeah. Hello. Rick, this is for you, mate. Um, good to see you back after two years. I don't know if you remember, the last time I spoke to you on camera was that in your changing room after the Lee Selby fight, it was a very emotional interview. Your own, I think you did maybe shed a tear a little bit because you thought, people thought you, that you were done in the sport of boxing. Now, two years later, Rebellum are here, you're back in the ring. Did you ever foresee this happening again after that fight against Lee Selby? Uh, no, 100%. Um, you know, I was a bad place after that fight. Um, you know, it was a close fight, but I thought as if I'd done enough to win that one. Um, but I felt as if, in the build up to that fight, all everybody kept going on about was my age, um, how about, or when are you retiring? And I kept thinking to myself, well, you do know I'm fighting on Saturday, don't you? Mm. And I felt as if after the fight I was trying to get forced out. Um, do you know, I'd be the first to admit it if I thought I didn't have it anymore. Um, I still enjoy training, I can still put a good shift in in the gym. Um, if I was taking too many punches, especially in sparring, I'd be the first to admit it, but it's not there anymore. Um, so no, I always knew I was going to fight again. We had a few dates that fell through the last two years, um, but we're here now, thanks, thanks to Rebellum and MTK for making this happening for me. Um, Saturday night, we'll, we'll get down to business. Mr. I've got one more sound, that's right. Thomas. Good to see you, my man. Uh, Good to see you. There's a lot of talk about that world title. I think that every interview I did with you, you were quite sick and tired of me mentioning you getting that world title shot. Now you're up at, you're up at featherweight. Was it because of, obviously, the fighters we have in the UK at, at that division? You talk about guys like Lee Wood, Mick Conlon, Jazza Dickinson, Galahad, Jordan Gill. You know what I mean? Nathaniel Collins up in Scotland, the Commonwealth champion, is doing very well as well. There's some great talent in that featherweight division. division. Was it sort of like... Some part of that reason to move up was because of the talent that we've got here in the UK? Um, well, yeah, like you said, listen, there's great talent there and there's great fights to be made. Um, but the fact that the Super Bantamweight uh, was the COVID hit and it was about making weight. It was just getting too hard to make weight anymore, you know. So and I don't believe the best performance was going to come out of me, as is noticed, and not the last one, but the one before. So I think it was just it was time to move up. And um, But that I have. There's great fights there to be made, there's great fights all over the world. So, featherweight division is probably one of the best at the minute. So, it's a really good division to be in. Definitely. Okay. We've got any more questions? We had one, we had one more. I think, where is, where's, uh, where's Adam? You've nicked all my questions now, so you carry on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nicked all the questions. I think that's it. I think. Um, Please, I think, there's a, I think there's a few tickets left for the Rainton Arena. Get yourself down there nice and early on Saturday night. And uh, let's have a great show. I think the atmosphere is going to be absolutely jumping. And uh, we'll end the year strong. Yeah, and if you want your one-to-one -to -one to with the lads, please make your way over, over there and uh, conduct your interviews over there.